Welcome you all to Target Professional Consults. My name is Target. I'll be your tutor for the day. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done that. And don't forget to share with your friends. Good. Today we are going to continue our interesting standard, the IAS 33 earnings per share. So, a quick recap. So IES 33 talks about pennies per share. Pennies per share. Good. Pennies per share. Basically, it talks about the earnings attributable to the ordinary shareholders. As we saw last meeting, we look at how to calculate the earnings per share. The calculation of EPS. Good. Then we give consideration to the following item. How does issue of shares at full market price? Issue of shares. At what full market price? Good. If you have not satisfied yourself, kindly um, go through the first lecture to satisfy yourself about that. B. We look at right issue. Wow. C. We look at bonus. How does the bonus affect? The earnings per share. Perfect. Then today, this is what we call basic earnings per share. Today, we are going to look at what we call diluted earnings per share. So, diluted earnings per share. That is today's agenda to complete the program or the course. So, can you be with me and then let's do it together? So, for today's section, Will be diluted earnings per share. Then the earnings per share that we calculated here, we can call it basic earnings per share. Great. So now that I've introduced diluted earnings per share, then basically we have two types of earnings per share either basic per share or diluted earnings per share. Perfect. So what we did in the first lecture video was in Connection of the basic earnings per share. So today we are going to look at the diluted earnings per share. So now let's start the game. So diluted earnings per share. So basically dilution. In simple terms, when we ask for dilution, what is the meaning of dilution? Diluted and is special. Now, dilution simple means watering in something, like increase the number of something or reducing the quality. That's dilution. Reducing what? The quality. Or reducing a concentration. So, if the sugar concentration is too high or the salt concentration is too high, can reduce that by adding more water, watering in that mixture. Good. The same thing applies to earnings per share. So we are going to look at the meaning of diluted earnings per share or meaning of dilution in earnings per share. Great. Now, when we talk about dilution in earnings per share, we are basically referring to one. Basically referring to one decreased so decreased decrease in the earnings per share or loss per share loss per share. Wow. So you also have a 
loss per share. Yes, if your profit attributable to the ordinary shareholders happen to be negative or happen to be a loss, you share it for them. So that's the loss per share. Now, what caused dilution? So dilution simply means decrease in the earnings per share or increase in the loss per share or increase in the loss per share. So let me add an increase to it. So increase in the loss per share. That is the dilution. As a result of, or resulting from the assumption that convertible instruments are converted. So uh, before I finish the definition, uh, the, Critical meaning is this. There are some potential shares which has not been exercised fully or which are not shares at the time that we are capping the earnings per share. But it's likely or it is probable that the holders will convert it into shares. So when they convert, it will increase the number of shares which will reduce the profit and hence causing dilution in any special. So the definition of diluted any special or dilution is nothing by decrease in what any special or increase in the loss per share. As a result of what? So as a result of the following one. So these are the causes of what? Dilution as a result of convertible instruments. So, convertible instruments, convertible instruments being converted or are converted. So, converted. Good. I'll explain that. Now the issue is this. You know, from the previous lecture, we said that any per share is nothing by your profit after tax divided by the number of shares or weighted average number of shares. Let's make it number of what shares. Now let us know my profit is 30,000. The number of shares is happen to be 60,000, 60,000 shares. So now this will give us an special of 50 pesos. Perfect. Now, if I should tell you that some of the shares or some of the debt, debt instruments or some of the equity instruments which are not ordinary shares yet, can be converted into shares. So example include what? Convertible loan stock. The holder have the option or the right to convert it to what? To equity shares. So when this person converts, uh, the number of shares will increase. So let's assume that when they convert, we are getting 30,000 cities in addition. <laughs> Great. So now let's assume that there was, um, Potential share that is the convertible debt, which after conversion, the result an increase of the ordinary share by 30,000. So, therefore, the earnings per share will probably drop to 30 pesos. So, from 50 pesos to 30 pesos. So that means there has been a decrease in the earnings per share. That means the earnings per share has been diluted. So basically, that is it. Great. So now let's continue the game. So look at it in detail. B. I said a convertible instrument. This will have what you call options or warrants when they are exercised. So options, 
that share of two and warren when they are what exercise so exercise good the so options are and rounds are the disposal or acquisition of shares at a fixed price. So you can promise your employees that if you can work with us for the next three years, at the end of the third year, we will give you shares of thousand shares each at a price below the drilling market price, also free. That is the share options and the warrant code. Once you agree with the price of the share at a fixed amount. So at that date, if the price is above the agreed price, you will still pay the fixed price. So that is the options and the warrant. So that's all. Great. That's all. So these are the causes of the dilution in the earnings per share. So dilution in the earnings per share simple means decrease in the earnings per share or increase in the loss per share as a result of convertible instruments that are converted or options and rounds that are exercised. So we are time for the definition for diluted energy structure. Now let's basically look at the uh, formula or some few issues about the dilution. The dilution simple means the energy per share will decrease as a result of certain instruments made at work. We normally call such instruments what potential shares. As of now, they are not ordinary shares, but they can be in future periods. That's all. Good. Now let's look at it. So in short, only the following item called dilution in the earnings per share. So three items, the causes of the dilution per share is actually so let's start the item. So dilutive instrument. Dilutive instrument. We are first. Is the convertible debt. Convertible debt. Convertible debt. Second is the convertible preference share. The convertible preference share. Then Last section is the options or warrants. Options or warrants. So these are the instruments that normally cause a dilution in the earnings per share. That is all good. Now let's see the formula for the diluted earnings per share, and then we are done. So I put a formula down and repeat one few application. Then we add time. Okay. So the formula for finding diluted earnings per share is nothing by this saying that okay. The profit after tax plus any interest saved. Wow. Plus what any interest. Saved, but it must be net of tax. Thank you. Any interest saved. Now, when the debt is issued convertible debt, loan stock, 
to be paying interest annually. But this debt or this instrument, the holders can convert it towards into shares. So after the conversion period, probably you will see paying that interest. You are going to save it. So you save, you save, you save. How do you get it? Good. If it's preferences, you pay the dividend, dividend save, just that that one there will be no net of tax. That is all. Then you divide it by the number of shares in issue. The number of what shares in issue plus the new shares. Wow. After the convention, the increment. How many shares are you giving them in exchange of the debts or their preferences? That is all. So that's the diluted earnings per share. Basically, we are done. So we can pick very nice illustration to look at it to end the entire chapter. From there, the week is more exciting. So let's look at very quick illustration. So first, let's get the question here. Uh, the question goes like this. Uh, this is the account for change limited. This is the account for change limited. Change limited for the first December twenty eighteen. So first December. Their profit after tax happened to be 50,000. So it's in Ghana to be And then the following information is available. Ordinary shares. The number of ordinary shares in issue. The number. Let's make it a one. Number of ordinary shares. In each new amounting to let's say hundred thousand credits. Sorry, hundred thousand shares. So that's the number of shares in each. Okay. The following transaction. So relevant or the extra, but we don't do trouble things. Extra from the financial statement is as follows extra from the financial statement. So we can see something like um, so the non current asset section is as follows. So 10% convertible bonds. So 10% convertible bonds. But the value is that's going to be here. Uh 50,000 Ghana city. Then we do have Preference shares. So let me just take two questions. So these are the extracts from the financial position. So extracts from the financial position. Great. Then 5% convertible, convertible 
person said. So person said, let us win another one to win it. Ten thousand. Get ten thousand. Now, in a footnote, we will tell you this. So let me bring a footnote to note. Note one. The conversion ratio for that of the bonds is the conversion ratio. Conversion. Ratio the bonds. So, like this. So, let's start with the bonds. Uh, okay. Let's give you so that I'll do it. Uh, the bonds here. And that's of the preference shares. I'll do it. Preference shares. I'll do it. Good. Great. Good. Now let's go down the top. You can be copying or moving along. Okay. Now, with the bonds, I will tell you that um, We will tell you that 20 shares. So the conversion ratio, ratio number A, we can like this 20 shares for every, so 20 shares for 1,000 Ghana to be So 20 shares for every 1,000. Can I want to tell you that B um, 16 shares for every thousand can actually get that. Now, when they give you a lot of convention ratio, please select the one that will cause the most dilution or will dilute more. And if the one that give us more shares, you can see from here that the number of shares is 20. Over here, per thousand bet. Yes, fifteen. So in calculation, we will not use the one that will give us the least dilution. So when the, the ratios are known. Or in exams, we just give you one ratio, then you are done. Good. So that is. Uh, we have some few. Okay, let me give 100 and actually as a power value. So for every 20 shares, count for 100 pegs. That is F. So it will be 20 shares for every 100 and actually pegs. Let's put the prevent shares. <coughs> prevent shares, that one will be just two. Uh, let's start. The first conversion ratio will be two ratios, sorry, two shares, that's two ordinary shares. Here we will tell you that two ordinary shares for every uh, shares, okay, for every hundred, for every hundred number to be preference shares. So that is it. Here to B, the second conversion is one. So 1.5. Uh, let's make it this one. So one share for every hundred Ghana to be get. Here to finally pick the most diluted, most word diluted, is the one that will give us more ordinary shares than we have done. 
The last six notes, which the note two says that the company paid tax at a rate of 25%. So the tax rate is what? 25%. So let me write a small here. That is the tax rate, 25%. And we have done tax rate. Okay, 25% for this company. So change limited pay tax at rate of income required. Calculate both basic earnings per share and the diluted earnings per share. And that is the end of the game. Okay, so let's quickly put it down to any dilution. So we start. Third examiner, let us do the producing board. Third examiner, that uh, we are calculating basic earnings per share. So write your basic earnings per share. Then if for which year, that's the first December 2018. As you can see from the top. Oh, sorry. So we come in for that. So basically, that is it. Now, call the formula for us in this application. The formula is nothing by the profit of the tax all divided by the weighted average number that we are done. Do your substitution. The basic earnings per share is equal to the profit of the tax of 50,000 from the Question. So that's 50,000 here divided by the ordinary shares of what? 100,000 in each year. So 100,000 shares. And this will give us 60 pesos. We are done with the basic earnings per share. Now let's go ahead and go and calculate the diluted earnings per share. So the diluted earnings per share is an expression of the basic earnings per share. Then we are done. So that's that one too. Can you call the formula? Then you are done. So let's see. Good. So the formula looks like this. Diluted earnings per share equal to write your profit as a tax plus any interest paid or divided by the number of shares plus the new share you are done. So that is the diluted earnings per share. So let's see how best we can calculate this. First, let's bring the profit of the tax. Let's perform some small working here. Small working. So first, we're going to calculate the top. Profit of the tax. What is the answer from this question? Let's bring the new to this here. 60,000 Ghana cents. That's the profit of the tax. Now, in the footnote, it said that the company is having 10% convertible bond. Here, two things being placed. They said extra from their financial position. So it means that these bonds are already in issue. Great. That's one factor. Factor number two it can also happen that. They will issue new convertible bonds. So check the question whether already an issue or it was issued during the year. That's all. Now, the interest on this bond is what 10% on the face value, so 10% on 60,000. So that will give us 5,000. So 10% on 60,000 is giving us 5,000. Perfect. So this 5,000, that is what they are going to save. So they will save 5,000 at the end of every year because they are not going to pay that interest again if the bondholders convert this value into shares. Because if giving us loan and you have converted the loan to equity, you are not going to pay any interest to you because you don't pay interest to equity. You only give them more dividend. Good. So the interest take from the bond will be the interest take from where? 
the form this is the calculation but it must be net of tax so 10 percent of 5000 times 75 percent because of the net of tax because of net of what tax the tax is 25 percent so therefore the net of tax is what 75 percent great now do you do it? let's do it together okay so the interest open the bracket 10 percent times 50,000 which I can write my let me speak and some more so 10 percent times 50,000 times 75 percent great so times 75 percent Uh, profit of the company. So 10%. So that's 10% times 5,000 give us, times 50,000 give us the 5,000 average. So to be the 5,000 now by 75%, and that'll give us 3,750. It'll be 3,075. Is there any savings again? Yes, they have convertible profit. Preferences down to your pay dividend 5% annually. So every year, your pay dividend 5%. So that one too, when you convert, they will save that 5% each and every year because ordinary dividend must be declared, must pay. So, so that is it. So dividend save. Dividend say you open a bracket, 5% on the value, so times 10,000. So 5% times 10,000 will probably give us 500, right? Okay, good. So we are saving 500 Ghana from that of, from that of the dividend on the Preference to so put all this together, so this will be the exact profit after tax, exact profit after tax, right from in if we convert it to what shares. Great, so the in total, we are going to say, um, 60,000. One, two, three, plus three, seven, five, zero, plus 500. Now the issue is that we did not find it of tax on dividend. Yeah, because dividend is not tax deductible. So do not find any tax, net of tax. Do not find tax issue with that of the dividend loan. So in total, give us sixty-four thousand two hundred and fifty. So sixty-four thousand two hundred and fifty Ghana. Now let me also do the number of shares at the other hand. These are workings. Good. So these are the workings. How we arrive at this figures are the workings. The workings one is the profit of the tax. This is the profit of the tax sixty thousand plus the interest is here. The interest are not just one. There are many. The interests are not one, they are two. One on the debt and one on what the preference is. So let's look at the shares here. So the number of shares. So this is the profit of the tax. Uh, number of what shares? That one to what's the open balance? The open balance, they have 100,000 shares. Now, when this Potential shares are converted. What will be the number of shares will be added or be received? So the converted bonds, they have 50,000 bonds there, but the conversion ratio states that mm -hmm. 20 shares for every 100 Ghana cities get. So if it's 20 for every 100 Ghana cities, then 50,000 debt will give us what? So 50,000 debt will give us. So just pick your. Calculator. Tell the examiner that you are going to evaluate for the convertible bonds. 
So the bond open the bracket. That is another that is 50,000 Ghana cities <coughs> divided by the power value, which is 100 given to you in the time. Times the number of shares you are giving to them. Give them 20 shares. So that is it. So the bonds will give us how many shares. So 50,000 over 100 Ghana cities times 20. So this one basically give us something like 10,000 shares. I agree. Good. So 10,000 shares. So 10,000 shares. Then you are done. Then we look at the preference share. So let's go to the preference share. When they convert to, don't forget that here, the conversion ratio, the conversion ratio was two. You pick only the ones that will dilute the earnings more than the other. So that is the game. Okay. Now with the preference shares, with the preference shares, it said two ordinary shares for every 100 Ghana cities preference set. So that one too will be open a bracket. Let's come in the screen. Oh, sorry. So let's turn it this way. Okay, good. So the preference shares, that is dominant by it will be the value of 10,000 divided by all. Uh, that one 200, right? By two. So by two. So here will be uh, 10,000 Ghana to be divided by 100. That will give us 10, right? Good. Times two shares. So it ought to give us two. Okay. Now let me make some few corrections in here. Have you seen the 20 will not make the question nice? So what do we do? Uh, that'll be 10, 10 by 2 give us 2. So if you have 10 Ghana cities, so it will be 10 cities. For every 10 Ghana cities. So here we divide by 10. That'll give us 100. So that'll give us 1,000. So if I divide it by 10, it'll give us 1,000. So 1,000 by 2 give us 2,000. Perfect. So that's 2,000. So putting all together, what is the number of shares? The number of shares. So the number of shares will be 100 plus 10 plus 2. Mm -hmm. That will give us 112,000 shares. 112,000 shares. OK, so 112,000 shares. Perfect. So now we have the new profit against the new shares. So diluted mm -hmm. earnings per share to so divide the mm -hmm. amount by this. Can we take notes or take screenshots of the page before I just the workings out and then include it in the main solution to end the game? So that is the steps. So if the items are many, go by this, then you are done. Good. Okay. So now I hope I can include it on the page. Uh, I wish I can write it together somewhere. 37 Pfizer 500. Yes, I remember. 37 Pfizer 500. Okay. Now let's start with the actual. <laughs> All the work is going, going, gone. Good. Okay, so you can go back to the picture. Oh, not sure if it's good. So that's going to be like this. So if you come to the first down tax, it's 19 by 60,000. And then the first dilution was 375 plus 500, all divided by. 100,000 plus 10,000 plus 
the that is the 64,000 divided by 112,000. And that's the diluted energy is pressure. And that is the diluted energy is pressure. So, so basically, that is it. Okay. Good. Great. Finally, this will give us something like uh, 60,000, but we done all this work in some way. Uh, 60,000 plus the three, seven, five. So, that be 500. That'll give us 64, 250 divided by 104,000. Yeah, 104,000. That'll give us 57.37 pesos. So equal to fifty seven dot three seven. Great. You can see that clearly the energy per share has decreased from where sixty pesos up to fifty seven pesos. So there has been a what a dilution as a result of this convertible instrument. So there has been a what dilution as a result of this convertible instrument. However. So let us assume that you calculated and then the diluted energy per share was let's say 65 test with an assumption. After calculation, you arrive at 60, 65.5 test with the examiner that there has no been what any dilution. This is not dilution, we call it anti dilution. It has rather increased the energy per share. So there's no dilution in the energy per share. So take note. So after the calculation, mm -hmm. you can confirm that indeed there has been what dilution in the energy per share. For dilution in the energy per share, we said that the energy per share must what drop or reduce. And the truth in here it has reduced. But in this scenario, it has rather increased, so it has not been what any dimension. Great. Now, uh, your trial question will be as follows. I'll solve them and then upload them to your first platform. So let's see. Great. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Now let's see this question, this set of questions. So, any special question to end the game? Can you try this very question for me? You can let me know your response. Good. So, you are doing all these three questions. First one. Energy per share is one of the most widely watched measures of company's performance. Because of its significance, IH33 Energy per share sets out the requirements for calculating and disclosing the basic earnings per share data for quoted entities. Mm -hmm. So discuss the significance of the earnings mm -hmm. per share figure to the analysis of company's performance three months so and this has been explained in the very first lecture video so you can use that one to get the answer to this question question two ghana trust limited i'll just go straight away with the requirements 
Capital the Ghana Trust earnings per share for the year and the for the years and the 31st March 2014 and 2015, including comparative figures. So it means that anywhere in any per share you get comparative, there is bonus share or there's right issue, bonus or right issue cost for comparative figures or comparative free statement. Because we said that bonus would start for the profit, so there must be restatement. Great. Let's go to the second one. Now that we the requirements, the whole share is there. Calculate the Ghana Trust basic and diluted and the share for the year and that of the first match. Comparative figures are not required. You don't need to worry yourself about that. You may assume that both convertible loan and directors options are diluted. Let's see. So that one, there must be what? Uh, this is 8% convertible loan stock and then once good or share options. Options, okay. Yeah, options here. Great. Perfect. Great. So basically, that is it. So there's convertible loan stock in it. And then there was share options. And let's go to the question two, Abu Limited. But all of these are for you. And question three, Berman, all of these are for you. Great. So this is how far the good Lord to bring us. Can you subscribe to the channel if I've not done that? And then there will be second section or a third section of the earnings that share where there will be question solving. Critical solving. So try these questions and then let me have your solution. Can you subscribe if I've not done that? Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>